Hey everybody, uh, Kabayoon here, and I just wanted to do a quick video to uh, show you guys how to warp a track in Ableton. This is something that a lot of people have asked. Um, I'm going to go and do another set about how I set up my live set, but I wanted to just first do uh, this one just to show you how you take a track and how you warp it. So um, I will just even start from complete scratch here. I'm going to grab a track and drop it in. Um, and so the first thing that you want to do is, um, it helps if you know the BPM, but it's not actually uh, urgent. So the first thing you want to do is just go and find, uh, just like if you're DJing on CD players, you would find that first uh, kick, and you would go and you would want to set that as your cue point. So I'm going to zoom in, you know, if you, if you zoom in real far, you get these little points. Um, so you want to go a little bit just below that. You can see here probably right around where it crosses the one point. The, um, you want to get a zero crossing if you can. So something like this would be good. You can always just this later. So anyways, the first thing to do is to set a yellow point at your first kick. Then what you're going to do is right click or control click if you're using a um, laptop and you set 1.1 here. So that will set the one there. And so if we just play from there, it'll start the track right at the beginning. Now you'll see here that I still have this yellow point back here that came when it first set in. So you wanna get rid of that. And also if there were any, there might've been a lot of yellow points that come that were already uh, set up in here, but you'll get rid of these by when you first set your point, if you just set one by one here. And then the next thing to do is you say warp from here straight. So this will warp the track based on what uh, it, it's BPM, not the BPM of the track. You could also do warp from here at 150, which will set it at the track BPM, or you could do BPM from here. But basically the one you want for your live sets is to warp from here straight. So let's do that. Now you see that it's gotten rid of these other um, points. So we don't have them anymore. And uh, that's what we want. You don't want to go through and make lots of yellow points because basically if I put a yellow point here, and I move this, it's only moving what's in between. So it's not going to change this point, it's only going to change the part in between. If I put another one here, you see that it's stretching this part and stretching this part out. So every time that you move something with a yellow dot, you're gonna be distorting the rest of it. So again, we don't want any uh, yellow dots except for our first one here. So go back and let's warp from straight again. So that's gonna set the whole track straight. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go somewhere near the end of the track. Um, I have a little bit of a fade out here, so let's find a nice kick. This one looks pretty good. So we can see here that it's not exactly on. This is our kick here. So what we want to do is you see that there's a little point here that you could turn into a yellow point by double clicking it. Don't double click it. Just use that point without double clicking it to drag your place over. And you can zoom in to get, uh, you know, the different to get it up so right here now we see we've got a zero point right there zero crossing so that's what we're going to want and so you see i did not create a new yellow point so basically all we have is at the beginning of a track we have one yellow and at the end we have gone in and found um one point and fixed it now if we go everywhere in between we'll be on so if we go to 148 we're right there very good so now That is warp track. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna grab one more for you guys. So let's say, um, uh, what other track did I just get here? All right, whatever, it doesn't make a difference really which track it is, I'm just gonna show you a new one, but So it really doesn't make a difference. Just pick one here. Subtract loads. It has, we, oh, and again, the one thing too here is we want our things on repitch. This is the important part, repitch. So let's follow the process again. I'm going to go and find my first place. That looks pretty good. 
So I set one from here, warp from here straight, zoom out, delete that first point, go towards the end, find a clear kick. This looks good enough. Yes, there we go. And without making a point, drag it over. If you need to zoom in to get it right. And there you go. One point, and that's all. Now, if we were to put, just to show you that they are working, if we were to put, don't I don't like this EQ3, but just to show you, um, I don't use this really, but just to give you the idea of it so for, uh, so here we can turn off the mids and highs and leave the lows of this vertical track, or this is me in vertical. As you can see, those two tracks are uh, lined up, and it's a pretty simple process. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing more soon. Take care.